Everyone. Welcome back to Catbox Comedy. I'm your host, Christine Knowlton, and it's Wednesday. It is Improv Day, and guess what? We're doing some more chicken improv. Yes, that's right. We're going to do chicken-themed everything. So if you want to drop something in the chat here, we are on Facebook as well. I think I'll get them better here. So if you're in here, yep, you can drop some uh, thingies down in the chat, whatever you want me to riff off of. It is. It's very... It, it's weird. No, <laughs> it's my show, damn it. I can make it weird if I want. This is rated R comedy, just to let you know. So, yes, we will be saying a lot of fucks. A lot of fucks and a lot of clucks today. So, yeah, I am discombobulated, but it is all good. Let me see if I can center my ass really quick. No, I am centered. What the hell? It's just me, right? <laughs> I'm like, it's just me. <laughs> I can never get my centered ass in here. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to be doing some chicken stuff today. It's like uh, we had a lot of fun on Monday's stream. If you want to check that out, we played some Ghostbusters pinball. 
we have a new show show coming up called uh, Nip Cluck. Uh, thank you, Sarah Green, um, for coming up with the title. So we will be doing a lot more chicken stuff, but you will actually have to pay to see that. So I'm not sure if we're going to do it through Patreon or if we're actually going to get an OnlyFans. Oh my God, we're going to break it and get an OnlyFans. Holy shit, what the hell is that, right? I don't know. It's still in the making, but whatever it is, it's going over to Malfunction TV, hopefully coming this fall. Also, yeah, join us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. We are on TikTok. We haven't done a lot of TikToks. We've got to get to TikTok. I think I'm on Hyperjuice or some shit. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> just follow us there. I'm going to drop the link tree here. I'll even highlight the damn thing. Oh, wait, I can't cheer them. Oh, fuck you. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm not awake yet. No, it's 2 p.m. here on the East Coast. I'm not awake yet. Uh, yeah, so join us, you know, uh, let me put this in the chat. Join us on Linktree. You can actually go there, go buy, like, some really cool merchandise, like this fucking t-shirt. Yeah, it's on Public. I believe there's 35% off right now. So, yes, hello. Hello, Sarah. Yes, we are going to have some fun today. Let me pop this up here. Let's get over to our wheel of catnip and enjoy the nip plucking. <laughs> Yeah, no nips right now. We will bring out the nips on another show. So, <laughs> again, that will be a paid broadcast, right? <laughs> this bitch don't work for free. No, this bitch... <laughs> Wait, this chicken don't work for free. <laughs> burr, burr. <laughs> we need some chicken pasties now. All right, so let's get this jam started. Waiting. What the hell am I waiting for? I don't know. What the hell? <laughs> this is my own show. It's like, I'm just going to hold up the show. It's great. What the hell are we doing first? Oh, I have no sound on here. This is fucking great. Okay, <laughs> so we've got dead ass wheel. Okay, three chickens outside Ebbing, Missouri. Okay, fuck. I know this was in the news somewhere. Okay, so, okay, yeah, improving here. Let's go back to our improv screen. Oh, look at that. New fucking screen. Okay. So here we go. Uh, three minutes on three chickens outside Ebbing, Missouri. Bark. Bark, bark. Can you believe all the shit that's happening here, man? I can't believe this man got my wings all up in it. Mm -mm. Nope, that's right. Mm -hmm. Said chicken one. <laughs> bark, bark. Bark, bark, bark. Ebbing, Missouri. That's far from here, right? I'm not too good with, um... Uh, I'm not too good with my locations here. No, we are in, we are in Ebbing, Missouri. Fuck. That's not a good thing, is it? Mm -mm. Said chicken number two. What do you mean you didn't know that we were outside here in Ebbing, Missouri? What the fuck is wrong with you, man? What kind of chicken are you? You should have chicken GPS. Am I right? I mean, yeah, it's like the shit definitely hit the fan. I mean, the coop is definitely, uh... Yeah, the coop is definitely out there. Am I right? Um, there's, we know there's a, a killer on the loot. It's not, it's not a good sign. It's not looking good for chickens right now. Said chicken number three. Um, don't worry, I'll be translating in between the barks in case you don't know what the hell the chickens are saying. All right, so um, this is how we're gonna play this out. Um, uh, shit needs to get done. That's right. Um, us chickens aren't gonna stand for it much longer. No, I know. I know exactly what happened to Billy. Billy went in that fucking roasting pan. I told him not to go in there, didn't I? Mm hmm. That's a bad idea. It shit happens when you party outside of Ebbing, Missouri. Mm hmm. Yep, that's the shit that goes on here. So okay, Billy's fucking roasted. Um, he's not gonna be any more help. Uh, we're gonna have to join fronts and become Chicken United, Chickens United. Uh, we're gonna get this job done, though. Uh, yeah, uh, that's the way I see it. Um, what, what are your third, what are your thoughts on chicken number three? Well, that's all fine and dandy, damn it, but, um, uh, we are, um, in, uh, no order to be laying eggs around here. Again, it's like the shit hit the fan. Uh, the eggs aren't, um, 
the eggs aren't going to survive what's happening here outside of Ebbing, Missouri. So um, you need to keep that shit up inside of you. Like, just keep it up there. Uh, it's not a good sign. No, no, just, just keep the chickens up there. Keep them safe. You know, that's all we want to do is keep the chickens safe. All right, um, let's move over to chicken number two. Chicken number two, uh, what, what's going through your head right now? God damn it, chicken number two. I told you to hold your eggs on the inside. Now look what happened. It's not going to be a pretty pig. Oh, son of a bitch. See? See, what happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? There's a chicken shooter on the loose, and um, now we have scrambled eggs. We have scrambled eggs all over the fucking place. What the hell are we going to do now? Oh, finally, you say something intelligent, chicken number three. Yeah, that's right. It's like, uh, we're, we're gonna put those chicken laws in, right? Uh, yep, yep. Uh, hey, get out of the deep fryer. Oh, my God, don't go in the fryer. What the hell's the matter with these chickens here? You know, it's like, they're like, well, we'd rather get, um, we'd rather fry ourselves than get shot. Um, that's what we're kind of saying here, man. Oh, that's what you think, chicken on the street, right? Chicken on the street, no way. That's right, that's right. You know what? If we stay together and we get this shit nipped in the bud, we're all gonna survive. We are all gonna survive. That is right, goddammit. Us chickens. That is right. Us three chickens out. Ch two. God damn it. We lost chicken number three. Chicken number three went into the fryer. What the hell, man? What the hell? We got a roasted chicken. We got a fried chicken now. This is one hell of a fucking improv set to start this shit off with. Um, all right, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, hey, street chicken, we're going to need you. You got some more insight? Were you speaking chicken? Because I clearly didn't get that. Mm -mm. For a chicken, that was hard for me to understand. But here we are. We're three, two... Two chickens now outside of Ebbing, Missouri. Can you believe that? All right, that was our first wheel. That was we are doing this a little bit longer now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> My three minutes to turn into five. Uh, yes, this is. Uh, if you're just joining us now, this is Chicken Prov. So if there's anything that you want to change the title to, um, we will be doing some chicken songs at the end of the show. So if you have a chicken theme song that you want to put in there. You know, like, I think we're doing, like, different strokes and Sanford and Son. We're definitely doing the Golden Girls again. So, it's like, you're going to put the put the theme songs in for the end. Uh, we're just going to do theme songs for now. Someone did suggest the, the devil went down to Georgia, but the chicken went down to Georgia. I think that would make a great parody of the song, but I don't think I could cluck my way through it. We will try one of these days, though. I'm not brave enough yet. <laughs> It's like a brave new chicken, right? Oh wait, that's a whole new world. Fuck. Okay, I'm getting my shits. I'm getting my chicken shits mixed up. All right, let's go back to the wheel. Let's see what the fuck is on the wheel, right? It's like fuck this. <laughs> Clock this. Oh wait, I am so wrong. Hold on. Wait, what? What? I have a screen for this, damn it. I have a screen. <laughs> I don't know my, why my wheel's not coming in. Oh, see, the chicken went down the Georgia, son of a bitch. Okay, we are just talking about this. So I think maybe I'll just riff off of this one, if you don't mind. Um, we'll try to save the chicken stuff a little bit. Hoo -hoo. Okay, so uh, let me pull up the lyrics to that, because it's a long fucking song. So I know that. So <laughs> let me pull up the lyrics. The lyrics. The devil went down to Georgia. Let me see if I can uh, talk my way through this and make it into a chicken song. Uh, all right, I can't spell. It's great. I'm like, fuck that. I'm like, where is it? Okay, here we go. All right, so we're going to try this in five minutes. We're going to try to implement uh, the chicken went down to Georgia. Don't know how the fuck this is going to work, but we're going to fucking try it. All right, hitting the timer. All right, so uh, the chicken went down to Georgia. He was looking for a soul to steal. He was in a bind because he was way behind, as most chickens are. 
and he was will, willing to make the deal. That's right. He was talking to Colonel Sanders right there. God damn it. When he came across this young man sawing on a fiddle and playing it hot. Ooh, hot and spicy chicken. Yeah, baby. I'm there. And the devil jumped up on a hickory stump. You know what? This might be a song about chickens. God damn these herbs and spices, right? And said, boy, let me tell you what. Oh, I got to hear what this dude's going to say, right? I guess you didn't know, don't know it, but I'm a fiddle player too. Chickens play the fiddle. They got three, three little burp, 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 burp. <laughs> cool chicken head, chicken. Oh, Jesus Christ. Sarah had chicken sandwich for lunch. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> it's like back to what the fuck, whatever the hell I'm doing here. Cause I don't know. Okay. Okay. I guess you didn't know this, but I'm a fiddle player too. And if you care to take a dare, I'll make a bet with you. Ooh. Could you see a chicken making a bet with the devil? I am so there. Now you play a pretty good fiddle, boy. I mean, for only having three fingers, right? But give the devil his due. He's got to make him pay. Yep. Yes, that is right. Where the hell am I? Okay, the devil's due. I'll bet I got a fiddle of gold against your soul. Because I think I'm better than you. Ah, said every devil ever. You know what? This might be the devil eggs went down to Georgia. We may have to retune that. I'm just going to keep on going. We're just doing some chicken chat here. It's like, hey, hey Mark. Hey, Spark Novelty. Bark, bark. The boy said, my name's Johnny. And it might be a sin. I'll take your bet. You're going to regret. Because I'm the best there's ever been. Oh, yeah. That's some chicken chat right there. That chicken's got it. Johnny rose up and bow and play your fiddle hard <laughs> they said hard because <laughs> hell's broke loose in Georgia and the devil deals the cards yeah how the fuck's this devil chicken gonna deal some cards it's got like three fucking <laughs> the how the anyway I wonder what a flush would be is that like chicken noodle soup I'm not quite sure alright here we go <laughs> we're still going the devil went down to Georgia this is a long fucking song. I know I can't brook brock it. Um, I will try it eventually. <laughs> okay, so uh, where were we? Uh, the devil deals the cards. And if you win, you get the shiny fiddle made of gold. But if you lose, the devil gets your soul. And that's how we get deviled eggs, folks. Pay attention, damn it. Okay, so the devil opened up his case and said, um, I'll start this show. And fire blew from his fingertips as he rose up his bow. Ooh. That's some chicken magic right there, Jesus Christ. And he pulled the bow across the strings and it made an evil hiss. Do chickens hiss? Like when they get pissed, I mean, I've heard them. Bah, bah, bah. I've heard them do that, but I, I don't think I've ever heard them hiss. I don't think they hiss like snakes. Okay. So then a band of demons joins in and sounds something like this. When the devil finished, Johnny said, Well, you're pretty good, old son. But sit down in that chair right there. Oh, God, I hope it's not an electric chair because we're going to have some more fucking fried chicken coming up. And let me show you how it's done. We're definitely getting fried chicken out of the song, by the way. Um, Fire on the mountain. Run, boys, run. The devil in the house of the rising sun. Chicken in a bread pan. Picking out dough. Holy shit, this is great. Chick oh my god, this is a song about chicken, isn't it? God damn. <laughs> Where the hell have I been? Until you actually read lyrics of stuff, you're like, what the hell? Right? <laughs> it's like, whoa. All right, fire on the mountain. Oh, we're getting some fucking uh, Cajun chicken tonight. Run, boys, run. The devil's in the house of the rising sun. Chicken and bread pan picking out dough. Granny, does your dog bite? No, no child, no. Oh god dog's gonna eat the chicken this can't be good holy crap this is a long fucking song we're gonna continue with this we've got two paragraphs left to go all right so the devil bowed down his head because he knew he'd been beat and he got laid by the golden fiddle he got laid 
<laughs> and the fiddle on the ground of Johnny's feet. Johnny said, Devil just don't. Come on back if you want to try again. I had done told you once, son of a bitch. I'm the best that there's ever been. That's one cocky fucking chicken right there. Oh, wait, cocky chicken? Oh, I get it now. God damn it. See, when you're looking in through the eyes of a chicken, you don't realize this shit. And he played fire on the mountain. Run, boy, run. The devil's in the house of the rising sun. We're definitely getting baked chicken here. Hope they bought their sunblock. Chicken in the bread pan, picking out dough. Granny, will your dog bite? No, child, no. Okay, so the dog's obviously not getting any chicken at this point. So, goddamn, I don't know what the hell just happened there, but... Uh, <laughs> that was the chicken went down to Georgia, okay? <laughs> we will get into that song um, some other time. That's gotta be a crazy fucking song, right? Holy crap. All right. Back to the wheel. <laughs> I'm like, all right, back to the damn wheel here. Why do I have one marked wheel? <laughs> Note to self. Go through buttons on the fucking stream deck. All right. <laughs> Next subject, please. Sorry, I don't know why there's no sound for the wheel today. It's being a bitch. All right, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Chicken. Is this like the episode where Indiana Jones like goes to KFC or something? That would be totally bitching. All right, so let me put that on the clock. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Chicken. Here we go. That is not the theme song at the end of Jones. <laughs> Still not it. Nope, not gonna do it. Okay. Yes, I am Indiana Jones. That's right. I have traveled all this time through the lands. Going here, going there. I'm searching for what has always been missing. What is that that has been missing from my life? The Temple of Chicken. That is right. You may think I was going to say the KFC, but you would be wrong. The Temple of Chicken has 21 herbs and spices. I kid you not. And to be traveling through all these tombs, you get a bit hungry, if you know what I mean. And there's nothing that can fill your gut more. The going up. I sound like a fucking pirate. The going up. <laughs> Been Indiana Jones impersonation, Jesus Christ. Uh, going up. We will find the Temple of Chicken. But first, we must make it through the, um, the den of hard boiled eggs. Oh my god, look at them. They're all hard boiled. What did you do to your children? This can't be right. Stop boiling your chicken. Oh my gosh. What is wrong with you? Oh my god, you boiled your babies. I am stuck in, oh, I am stuck in chicken babies. They're all over the place. They're all hard boiled. Not the theme song again. <laughs> I will get the theme song eventually. What is that? That is the sound of the chicken. I think it's almost time. Oh no. I see what's coming up now. It's a chicken stampede. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's a good thing I bought the whip. I'm going to make whipped chicken. The chickens are crazy. Ah, got chicken. Another chicken. Whoa. Did you see that chicken blow up? Neither did I because this is improv. Ha <laughs> ha. I got you there. Oh, chickens, chickens. Oh, the king of chickens is coming this way. No. I've lost my whip. That chicken stole my whip. What the hell are we going to do with whipped chickens? Oh, my goodness. How am I going to make it up? Our, it's, things are getting intense when the music starts up like that. It's like, oh my gosh. Oh no, it's the head of the chickens. It's chicken. Oh, I've got to defeat this chicken to get to the temple of chicken where I can finally eat chicken. Even though there's so much chicken around me right now. I think I just made egg salad. Bad chicken joke. Bad chicken humor. 
Never said this was a good humor show. That would be ice cream. All right. I've got to fight the boss chicken now. How do you fight a boss chicken? I will tenderize him. And a punch and a pun. Oh, no. Chicken. Oh, chicken got me. The chicken got me. The chicken got me. Damn, he's got a left hook right there. Got to tenderize the meat, right? Yeah, I'm Indiana Jones, and I'm boxing a chicken right now. If you are just tuning in, yes. Everybody fights off a chicken. Oh, no, you cannot defeat Indiana Jones and the Temple of Chicken. Oh, and my meat has been tenderized. That is how you do it. I'm going to need a break when I get up to the temple, so there better be some good goddamn chicken up there. And the chicken flag is at half mass. The temple of chickens ice cream machine is down. No! I've traveled all that way! Can you believe that? I get all the way up to get a vanilla cone and some chicken. And the flag is at half mass because our ice cream machine is broke. How can we compete with real life here? Ah, uh, guess I'll just go down, eat some chicken on the way. Anyway, that was Indiana Jones and the Temple of Chicken. I don't know what the fuck happened there. If anybody knows what the fuck happens there, happened there, let me know, because I'm fucking curious. Like, what the hell? <laughs> As I sit here and drink some apple juice because I'm 12. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about that for a brief moment here. Indiana Jones in the Temple of Chicken. He's fighting off chickens. He was whipping chickens. Is there, is there a recipe for whipping chickens? Or whipped chicken? There probably is somewhere in the South. Whipping chick. Wait, no. Damn it, I take that back. That came out so fucking bad. Wow. <laughs> The shit that flies out of my mouth. I am ashamed right there. So, yeah. <laughs> he runs away from the giant rolling egg. <laughs> that is true. As he was going down that hill, you know, it, it was all... You know what? That was a whole thing planted by Humpty Dumpty. You know, that bitch was just waiting to fall off that wall one more fucking time. <laughs> and he's like, here's Indiana Jones. He sounds like a pirate. He sounds like, um, yeah, like, one of those, uh, it was a bad fucking accent. I was going from, like, pirate, pirate to Brit. It was really weird. But anyway, yeah, so Humpty Dumpty fell off his wall. He was like, fuck it, I'm just going after Indiana Jones, you know. So Humpty Dumpty took out Indiana Jones. Everyone went splat. The ice cream machine is still fucking broken. <laughs> Moving on to the next thing. Because Lord knows what the hell I'm doing here. Lord knows. I'm like, I don't even know what the hell I'm doing here. So, <laughs> back to the fucking wheel. <laughs> like, woo. All right, we're going to do I Dream of Chicken. Uh, we will be doing the theme song at the end of the show. So, you're going to want to stick around for some chicken songs. I figured I would save that until the end. Or shave that until the end. I don't know. Oh, what the hell? Right. What the hell? All right, so I dream of chicken. We're going to do I dream of chicken. All right. Now oh, what the hell? I got to do the theme song for that. Yes, Master, I am here for your egg salad, yes. Um, I will give you anything you want in the form, shape, and taste of an egg. Well, Jeannie, that seems like that would be a good fucking idea. Since it is breakfast time, and uh, all I keep drinking is whiskey for breakfast, I think whiskey and eggs will go perfectly. Yes, Master, at your wish. <laughs> Why the hell did I start doing In the God of Defeated? 
<laughs> We're gonna have to have an all musical show in here some at some point. Like, Master, your golden egg I have laid for you. Oh, Jeannie, that's the most magnificent looking egg. But surely I don't want to eat that because it's your child. Master, you know about the golden egg? Of course I know about the golden egg. Why do you think I laid you? Bad chicken humor. Again. Oh, Master, can we raise this little egg so it's our own? Of course we can, chicken. <laughs> Dream of chicken. <laughs> this is what happens when you mix chickens and shows and they become pornos. So, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, we have our magical baby right here. Oh, look, he's starting to crack. He's coming to life. Oh, Jeannie, you've done it again. Yes, we have, Master. Look at him. He's got the face of you and the body of me. He's an excellent-looking little chicken, isn't he? Hmm? But now, how are we going to send him to school? Since he's part chicken and part human. Well, Jeannie, I thought we would say he could be homeschooled. Oh, no, not like the pandemic was. Are you kidding me? I'll never survive that. But Jeannie, you're a genie chicken. You're a chicken genie. You can do it. <laughs> a chicken genie. We need a chicken genie. Whoever's out there, invent a fucking chicken genie. Okay. So, <laughs> all right, Master. I will um, I will do what I can, and um, hopefully he won't be turned into egg salad because he does look delicious there. I'm a chicken, and I want to eat chicken that is not well. This is like Hannibal chicken. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yes, so here we go. We have little chicken here. Whew, chicken, are you magic chicken or are you a regular chicken? <laughs> You're too young to know. I dream of chicken has gone off the deep end. Into the fat fryer. I mean, into the fryer. Yep, so, um... <laughs> well, since you cannot speak, little chicken, I've got to turn you into dinner. Let's see, uh, let's make some baked chicken. I think Master would like some baked chicken. There I go again with the fucking mat. I'm gonna get smacked. I swear to God. <laughs> but if you remember I dream, dream of Jeannie, that's what she called it. So, <laughs> he rubbed the lamp, he became a master. I don't know how that works. So, <laughs> alright, so we're gonna bake some chicken here. Um, here you go, little chicken. You're going into the pan. <laughs> Oh, I can't bake my little one. No, I need my little one. I need my little chicken. There we go. I love you, chicken. I promise I won't bake you and eat you again. Even though that's totally Hannibalism in chickenese. Uh, it's like, so Jeannie, how did the schooling go today? It didn't go so well, Master. I tried to bake him. You tried to bake our son? Yes, that's right. Uh, he's just a chicken. He's... Even though he has your human head, he he's still just a chicken, and I'm not sure where, where I'm going with this, but um, he's just a, a regular chicken. He doesn't talk or anything. Well, Jeannie, I guess you were right. I guess you were right. We are going to have to cook him and eat him. Some things just weren't meant to work out. You thought this was going to be a happy ending? No, it's going to be a <laughs> it's going to be an eating chicken ending. Okay. All right, so here you go. Back into the pan. No brock, no brock, brock, no brock, brock. Everything is fine, everything. It's fine, you're just gonna get a little tan. Mm-hmm. I am the golden chicken. You tried to roast me. Now you most now you both better get into the pan so I can eat you. Because what you have done here is so wrong. I'm going to end that right there. Fuck it. Okay, that was I Dream of Chicken. That was that was scary. Um, too scary for me. Too scary. For me. Just saying. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's go back to the wheel and see what the fuck is going on here. Woof. Oh, let's spin her again. All right, galaxy chicken. All right, we get to go to space with this one. Oh, yeah, galaxy chicken. Here we go. 
in a land far, far away. There's this galaxy called Chicken. That's right, chickens in space. You may have heard this from a show called The Muppets. Wait, that was pigs in space. We are doing chickens in space. I guess this would be um, a parody is what they call that. All right. So once upon a time in a land far, far away in the galaxy of chicken, chickens ruled the outer space. And it went something like this. Why, yes, Captain. We've discovered a new planet called Chicken Tenderonian. Chicken Tenderonian. One of the most tender planets on the chicken galaxy. Yes, sir, but we do have a problem here. The galaxy of chicken. Since the birth of our new planet, um, there have been some sightings in the sky, and it is not good. Yes, that is correct, sir. What we see here, coming up on our screen, those little bloop, 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 those little things that are leaving the trails behind. Those are what are known as the dipping sauces. The dipping sauces have come from another galaxy. What it is, they like to dip. These other aliens, the other, the other chicken aliens, wait, no, they're not chickens, that would be, I gotta stop making chickens eating chickens. Uh, <laughs> They are aliens from another galaxy. They like to dip these chickens into the sauce and then eat them. So our new galaxy of chicken might be under attack. Of course, the shield. I forgot the shield of chicken. That stands for chicken hiding in California Kraken eight nuggets. Yes, the shield of chicken. I'll ask to repeat that again because I ain't gonna do it. Yes, that's right, the chicken. The shield chicken. We can drop it right over and protect the chicken. Oh my gosh. Oh no, here comes the honey mustard and the ranch and the regular honey. And the hot and spicy. Oh my gosh, we're under attack. Pew, 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 pew. Look at that. They're not even dipping anymore. They're just shooting. They're just shooting condiments all over us. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Chicken Donia is covered in barbecue sauce. Oh no, Chicken Donia. Chicken Donia. It's too late. It's too late. The Chicken Donia is gone. The aliens ate it. They ate it in one lump. Those savages. Those bastards must pay. The shield has come down. The shield, I believe we are safe here, Captain. We are safe now. We are safe now, but we've got to get them back. We have to. Even though we were under attack, I don't know if it's going to work or not. But we should go out there and get them. That's right. Let us fly to the chicken mobile. To the chicken mobile, uh, the chicken copter. Chicken mobile, chicken mobile. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. <laughs> the starship chicken. Let's do that. Let, that sounds better. Woo. We are closing in on them, Captain. Pew, 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 pew. I'm shooting the chicken guts out of them. Yes. Pew, 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 pew. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Whoa. Look at all that chicken explode in the air. Oh my goodness, it's floating all over the place. We better get our chicken catcher's mitts out. This looks like one hell of a time. And that was Galaxy Chicken.
I don't know what the hell was going on there. I gotta stop making chickens eat chickens, okay? <laughs> I'm like completely cannibalistic, right? It's like, wait a minute, I love chicken. What the hell is going on? What the hell? Hmm. Yes, if you're just tuning in, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Patreon, Discord, TikTok, and YouTube. YouTube, we are going to put some uh, stuff out there. Uh, we usually replay these Twitches on there. Some of them go on, some of them don't, depending on copyright issues. Ugh, pain in the butts. But you will be able to see our stuff here, still on Twitch. Also, you know, um, yeah, find us on Linktree. Find us on Linktree. We've got a couple other things coming out. I meant to highlight that. I'm such a jackass. So... <laughs> That's cool because you can go on there and you'll find our T Public store. You can get some awesome like cat box comedy stuff up there. It's really cool. They have shirts, they have um coffee mugs, journals, things like that. Things that we probably should be using to write the shit down with. But that's why it's called improv. If you're just twining in if you're just twining in right now, we're doing some chicken improv here. I might have to get back into some accents. I don't know what the hell this one is. We're going to have to mark this here at um, uh, the minute and 42 after the 2. Was that kind of some, some kind of language here? Why don't I keep this accent up and do another one? Let's do this. Let's go back to the media here. Yes, there's no sound for the wheel today. I apologize for that. I don't know what the hell's going in with the audio, but as long as you're hearing me, it's all good. I sound like a ch Cindy Lapa chicken. Oh my god, I so want to do this. Not like that. Not <laughs> and just like that I lost my fucking accent. Which probably at home you're like, Pro thank the fuck Christ. Like, what the hell is wrong with this girl? Okay, first we gotta talk about this for a moment here. Um back to the improv screen. Okay. Only murders in the building. I think that is one of the most brilliant new shows that's out there. Like, I don't know why I'm obsessed with this. I do want to do a parody on it. I think I'm going to call it Only Cats... Only Murders in the Catnip. Like, and it's going to be, like, all cats. It's going to be, you know, animated or whatever or drawn and, like, flipbook style, maybe. Like, n not flipbook style. I don't know what the hell they call it. Uh, I, I'm not... <laughs> I, I'd love to get more in animations, but I don't have the software to. But I, I will try. So anyway, okay, here we go. Only chickens in the building. I can't wait. They have season two's coming up. A handful more days, yes. I think it's uh, I think it's like uh, three chicken claws or something like that. Uh, <laughs> we'll get we'll get into that more. Okay, so here we go. Only chickens in the building. A long time ago, when I was just a little girl, I used to spend all my summers here. Yep, that's right, at the coop. At the coop. New York City, the biggest coop in the world. And there I met one of my best friends. It was kind of shy and a loner at first, but when we got together, we made all sorts of really cool things happen. Like, for instance, like, we love to go, like, on, uh, like, um, what the hell are they called? Uh, we loved going on adventures. We would make little adventures in in our coop. That's right. So as we got older, it's like we um, met up with a couple more chickens. Uh, they're, they're a really cool part of the coop, you know? One of the coolest things was to, um, yeah. One of the cool friends that we made up with, uh, his dad worked in the coop, and we were able to get access to everybody's coop. Like, when they were on vacation and stuff like that, it was the most brilliance of times. But then as we got older, we kind of drifted apart like all chickens do. There was this thing that happened. Um, there was this big party. Uh, our, our last big thing together, uh, we were known as the Hardy Chickens. That's right, because we like the Hardy Boys and Nancy Drew and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, as chickens do, we had one last party. One last hurrah. But then, 
tragedy had struck. <sighs> One of the chickens in the group just didn't make it. Which tore us all apart. Which landed me here, back at the coop years later. Will we ever find out who did it? I don't think so. So one night a fire alarm went off and everyone had to get out of the coop. I'm so glad. Well, almost everyone made it out of the coop, except for one person. One person at one point in my life who I really, really loved and trusted was just no more. He was gone in the night. But he didn't take his own chicken life because he wouldn't have ever done it that way. No. But I met up with these two other cool chickens. Now they have been um, a little bit older. Um, actually, they weren't chickens. They were hens. Wrong gender. Sorry if I... Wrong gender five fucking chickens. Uh, <laughs> so I met up with them and they too knew something was completely off in the building that night. And one of them said something like this. <laughs> said that we should start a podcast and figure this out. Because after all, we did bond over a murder podcast, which I forgot to tell you about. Because I am completely off in my timeline. So, <laughs> yes, yeah, so while that fire alarm was going off, we met into another coop and um, we talked about this other murder podcast that we were completely obsessed with. So when we got to the building and we knew it wasn't a suicide, you know, because chickens often don't commit suicide for some odd known reason, we knew it was a murder and we knew that we had to uncover this murder. But there was going to be a lot of chickens we would have to cross to find out what happened. The only thing is, I knew I was keeping something from the hens, from the cocks, from the roosters, damn it, whatever the hell I called them. Whatever. <laughs> I knew my story would get out eventually. But in order to clear my own name, because I sure as hell didn't commit the murder. And I wasn't going to let anybody think that I committed the murder. Because I didn't. So this podcast is coming along. And we can actually help solve this murder. But that is all the time that we have right now for only chickens in the building. So if you want to know more about chicken, uh, yeah, chickens in the building, only murders in the building. It's like go check it out. It's a really cool thing. Uh, really awesome cast, by the way. Fuck yeah! <laughs> Come on out, season two. Uh, <laughs> that was just a little improv version of it. Uh, don't follow it too good, uh, cause you know I always skip things and all that kind of shit. So <laughs> what else do we have coming up here? Um, I know we have songs coming in at the end. I just want to put this up here. Where the hell is it? Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, we have a new Beauty and the Beast show podcast coming out today. Oh, I don't have that on here. Shit. <laughs> Hold on. Let me go back to the main scene. Like, there's so many scenes in here. I'm like, crap. Like, where am I? So, uh, yeah. I was going to put that up. We have a new Beauty and the Beast podcast coming out today, dropping at 8 p.m., also at 8 p.m., check me out. I'm at High Wire Improv. I am Team Camp S'mores. I don't know if we're going first or last. Uh, there's two improv teams. It's going to be totally bitching. You'll be able to see everything. If you go, uh, let me drop that link tree. I'm going to highlight this again so you all can follow it. Come there, find me, Christine Knowlton. You'll be able to see everything. Uh, yes, find me there. You'll find High Wire Improv. What else we got going on? Oh, today also at 10 p.m. Catch me out. Yeah, catch me out. What the fuck? Uh, I'm just doing some weird shit right now, apparently. Um, yeah. <laughs> I can't talk. Okay. I'm on Tom Myers' show. Tom Myers versus the rest of the Zoom z zombies. Zoom comics. Zoom zombies. What the hell? Let's take two. Okay, at 10 p.m., I will be on my friend Tom's show. Tom versus the rest of the Zoom comics. God damn it. 
that's at 10 p.m. If you want to see that, come drop me a message and I'll send you the link to come on in. I am looking for where the hell. Okay. <laughs> My stuff is so messed up here. It's great. It's it's great. I'm like completely discombobulated. It's like I know it's here because I'm going to need this really shortly. But okay, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, you ever just try to get your shit together and it's Wednesday and you're like, no. <laughs> it's like, we can't get our shit together. What? Okay, there we go. Okay, there's the Beauty and the Beast podcast. Yep, that is coming back up at 8. It's like Mark Spark that was here earlier. You will be able to hear him and our awesome podcast. Yes, there will be some chicken comedy in that too because I'm going to throw in our last, uh, whatchamacallit, our last uh, Beauty's Bits where I did some comedy on the Tom Meyer show, and I thought those chicken bits went pretty damn well. Uh, it will not be all chicken on the Beauty and the Beast show. That's just something that I'm throwing in there. So let's get back to the wheel. Let's do uh, one more shorty. And then we'll do some singing. God help me, we will do some singing. All right, what do we got here? Okay, the Rocky Horror Chicken Show. I'm going to do this, but I'm going to say this again. Uh, the Rocky Horror Chicken Show, we are going to do a uh, Nip Cluck. And that is going to be a paid event. It will be coming out in October. So get your shit ready. Uh, I think tickets are going to be $25. This will be an online event. Unless there's a venue that wants this to come out. Yes, we will be having some fun with that. So, hell yeah, let me get back here. Where's the main thing? Okay, not the main. Damn it. Improv. There we go. I'm like, where the hell am I? Okay, so let's do a few minutes on that. Okay, the Rocky Horror Chicken Show in five. Go. All right, so there's like these chicken lips that, you know, they come up on screen. Yes. That is right. We are chickens of the night. That's right. We always start every show with a wedding. Yes. There's wedding everywhere. People are throwing rice. Uh, chickens like to eat rice. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I can't remember if, people, if they like it or not. So yes. We're packing at the chickens. We're in a little town called Denton. That's right. Denton, Texas. Alright. So we've eaten the rice from the wedding. We sang an awesome song called Damn It Chicken. Yes, we've got to have Damn It Chicken in there. So we've done that. Now we're in the car and it is raining. I think chickens like the rain though, so we'll leave it up to that. So we're driving. It's like... <laughs> Didn't we pass a castle along the way? Yes. We passed the castle along the way. Yes, it was White Chicken Castle. <laughs> we gotta keep dry, so we gotta use the newspapers, as all chickens do. Actually, chickens, I think they like to scratch at newspapers. Anyway, so they get to the castle, right? This long, dangly chicken answers the door. It's like, I think you better both better come inside. I don't care where you come as long as you clean it up. So, Brad and Janet Chicken entered. And there's this amazing lady just fucking the banister. And they all do this amazing time warp thing. So moving on, they move into the Ray Hall. And who but to appear but the Grandmaster Chicken. I gotta stop saying that word, fucking master. That Grandmaster Chicken. Alright, so they meet him. The chicken, the granddaddy chicken. It's just so amazing. And they just fall in love with him. And look at those tender, juicy thighs he has. Oh, that's a good one there. So, alright, they go up into this elevator. 
And there, lo and behold, they see this creature, this amazing creature, right? It's the, it's the golden goose, right? Because he's wearing golden pants. So Rocky's the golden goose. So <laughs> this chicken made this amazing goose, and he wants to mate with him. That's right, a chicken and a goose. You got a chick goose, a goosen, goosen. If they had children, anyway. So there's like this other song. Anyway, no, I think that was an Elvis song. What the fuck? Okay, <laughs> I'm getting my shit mixed up here. Okay, so after they did that, right? This whole thing, right? And who else? But meatloaf chicken would bust out. And the other chicken called the meatloaf chicken, it was something to die for. I mean, why can't you have chicken and meatloaf? You get your red, red meat and your white meat. It all goes good, right? So, no, that shit didn't happen. God. <laughs> I think we're going to have to make that into a part two because that is a lengthy fucking thing to do. I like where I was going with it, though. Uh, we will do a part two to the, to the Rocky Horror Chicken Show. We definitely have to do a part two to the Rocky Horror Chicken Show. I just had to end it there. <laughs> I'm getting a little too crazy with that. But we have a couple things, like I said before we go. <laughs> Hoot. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to do the Rocky Horror Chicken Show. Uh, yeah, that's definitely coming up. Uh, what the hell else did I want to do? Oh, yeah, I had a couple songs here. Yeah, we're going to do this. We had a couple people. You know, I did the I Dream of Jeannie. So, I guess uh, Beverly Hillbillies was next. So, Oh, I got into turkey mood. What the fuck? I lost my chicken. Holy shit. What? I went turkey. <laughs> the hell is wrong with me? <laughs> oh my god, I can't do the Beverly Hillbilly song. I had it and I lost it. God damn it. <laughs> I think I ran out of Brox. <laughs> Can do a chicken for an hour? Can you run out of Brox? <laughs> I'm doing something really weird. Uh, <laughs> damn it. I had it going. I had it going. Damn it. I lost it. <laughs> Although you can't lose something you've never had, so I'm pretty sure of that. All right, the next one was uh, Aaron Ring um, had. It's funny, two Aarons fucking had the same idea. I did this on a Monday show, and um, Aaron Ring requested Sanford and Son. When Aaron Despiva requested that on Monday, I'm like, God damn it, you, you two think alike. So we're gonna do Sanford and Son really quickly here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was Sanford and Son. Uh, not a good rendition. I never said it was good, damn it. <laughs> you try singing the chicken, it's not as easy as it looks. And of course, let's end it with the Golden Chickens, a.k.a. the Golden Girls. May they all rest in peace. The guy had another one in there. That's all good, right? 
All right, so that was chicken pop. Jesus Christ. Thank God I got through that. <laughs> yes, please return here on Saturday. I will be here Saturday doing some riff tracks. We will be watching some cartoons. So, damn it, come get your cartoons at 2 p.m. Eastern. I don't know what the hell we'll be watching, but we will be watching something. And we will have volume. I don't know what the hell happened to the wheel today, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And we just lost volume for that. So it's it's all good. I'll take that. That's okay. We don't we really didn't need the volume for the, you know, for the wheel. So I'm good with that. I'm happy. I tried some new stuff. We got some chicken stuff out. We got some chicken chat. We got some other chicken stuff. Yeah, hell yeah. Join me back here on Saturday, man. I'm Christine Knowlton. Thank you for watching Catbox Comedy. Woohoo! Woo! Ha ha! Oh, I'll hit the right goddamn button. Trust me. <laughs>